so welcome back to my channel cinnamon tarot 333 welcome back to all my subscribers my loyal subscribers um very thankful for you guys make sure you guys like comment well you can't comment but you can like share um so virgos some of you guys have um actually really kind of been through some shit like y'all been through at least seven partners yes that's seven about six partners you guys are getting to the seventh like as far as like hard like real relationships and they've been hard you've been coming up empty-handed but don't give up you're like like it's once you give up and you're like oh no fuck this i'm not gonna do this that one that you turn down is gonna be the tree that's bearing the fruit so stay open-minded and so from where you're coming from this could have been recent this can be upcoming some shit has been illuminated some of you virgos already had like a feeling of some of this shit your intuition was already telling you you ignored the red flags you fucked around and got your fucking heart broken and it left you with two paths to go down um my advice to you and what the cards are showing you is what you need to do is you need to heal. And this is inner healing, specifically in your house. However you want to take that, you can take that two different ways. Your house being your body as well as your home. You need to go within as well as in your home and build yourself up. And when I say that. That relationship was like crazy. Like when it what, what, whatever happened, the way it ended, it it left you feeling like you were lacking, and that's not the case. That's why you're going back in because you're going to g check yourself. Like hold on, let me let me let me reevaluate some things. It wasn't you. You know, people judged you looking from the outside of the window looking in. I think that's how my father used to say it. But people judged you. And it got you self-doubting. No. Go in where can't nobody really see shit. Because what apparently when they on the outside looking in, they think they see. They don't know fucking for sure. <laughs> if that makes whoever this makes sense for it makes sense for them. They don't know for sure. And within this card, this person they like getting low, like up underneath the window because it's like they don't want it to be seen. So you want some moving and silent shit. So when you pop out <laughs> <laughs> when you pop out, you're going to make a scene for these motherfuckers. But you're going within to heal yourself. You're healing like you're like the cracks within yourself. We're going to consider you to be a cup. You're healing yourself because you got new love coming in, whether you like it or not. OK, and with this new person, it's going to be a lot of love there, but they're a little broken, too. And we want you to be able to go in and be able to receive that love. So the little cracks within you that that person may have put. You're, you're, you're mending them. You're resealing, making sure you have no cracks within you so that when this person comes with all this love and emotion, you can carry it. Because this person has come in they have a lot of love to give but once again they do they are broken everything you went through with this past person I'm not saying that this person is going to do those things but they've experienced those things as well so that's why you're going with them because this is a process and you're going to be able to go to them like okay well damn you know i've been through that same shit. <laughs> This is what I did to get through it. You're going to help them get through it. You guys are going to build together getting through that. Lean on me. Damn. <laughs> Don't know where that came from, but that's how it came out. Um, so. Don't think that like sometimes the worst lessons come from the worst situations. The, my bad. Wrong way to say it. Sometimes the best situ the best lessons come from the worst situations. What you just went through, I know that shit was hard looking at it because it's, it's the moon card. So that's definitely illuminating. And normally for the cards that's in the picture, I never put those online. 
forever. But spirit like, uh-uh, they need to see this. <laughs> they need to see this. If you look closely, your heart is in the middle of that island with the knife in it. That thought of you and that person really building something and really doing, like you thought y'all was doing something, it was one-sided. <laughs> they was doing them. Um, they had water going everywhere. You know, water is emotions. They had emotions going everywhere. So take a step back. Take a step back. Recollect yourself. Get yourself in order. Get your house in order. That's the house card. Get your house in order. And with the Yamaya card, we know she's the water Arisha. Water is emotions. Prepare yourself for this love that's coming in. Some of you feel that this person that you just recently had, that was the last person that was going to love you, ever love you. Bullshit. <laughs> Heal yourself. Somebody coming in. Like, for my ladies, big dick energy. For my men, she got that super soaker 30, 33,000 type shit going on. Like, that's that slipper twister. <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> So prepare yourself because like it's not just going to be the sex like y'all going to be building and bonding on like many different intimate levels. Friendship, confidant, lovers like Virgos are closet freak straight the fuck up. Virgos, this is going to be one of them people that, like, when they come home, you're going to be in, like, different outfits on some real wild shit. Like, if he can dream it on some real freak nasty shit, you can achieve it type shit. For my ladies and for my men, be careful how you be hitting these girls because y'all got them mad at us. They in these groups. They got support groups and shit. And I know that you Virgo men, y'all be... Y'all be, y'all be, y'all be doing y'all thing. <laughs> but be careful on how y'all fucking these girls. I'm going to just say that then. I'm going to leave this video there. There y'all have it.